Hi guys, in today's episode we are going to talk about how uh, we travel with a little child in our tiny teardrop. Playing with sticks has a new face. I have been hired. <laughs> Welcome to Playing with Sticks. The most important thing about camping is just take in consideration east time. So even though we're camping a lot, we run on east time. So if east needs a nap, we stop everything, we do his nap. If east is feeling a little bored and needs mom and dad to just entertain him, stop and we play with him and show him the environment and usually I'm the one doing that and then Drew just sets up our tent and everything so it kind of works out but just we move very slow with a baby. making sure that he's happy because if you have a happy baby then you have a happy family. <laughs> a happy baby equals happy mom equals happy husband. <laughs> if he's tired and needs a nap and, and we're driving and we're say we get to our destination we don't get out and just camp we just keep driving because he we know he needs the nap. Yeah just moving slow if East is hungry we stop everything and we just kind of take care of his needs first. East comes first and then we uh, have a better experience. Would you like some taco? Food. Our favorite thing to do when we're camping. Food is actually hard with a little baby so we try to um, pre-cook some meals. We call them hobo meals. You can look it up on Pinterest. See the bio? He's trying to bite dad. Would you like some strawberries? No shoes or sock on this side. <laughs> you think that's funny? Packing food and making the pre-meals. I always pack extra um, food for East, like his favorite food that he doesn't normally get to eat. Extra little treats for a baby really helps when you're out here and if he's having a bad time or if you know he's not gonna eat or if he's a picky eater, like let, letting East have more of the foods that he's not really allowed to have. Um, I'm not saying like give him candy, but we just uh, splurge a little bit. When we don't have food, we usually hit up a restaurant or a cafe. We're usually camped in a place where we can get to a place, a restaurant pretty easy. The convenience of um, going out to eat when we're camping, I mean, I know some people won't like that, but for us as a mom, it's really stressful trying to pre-cook all these foods, so having the choice to go out and eat, eat a meal and not having to worry about packing extra food is really nice and just less stress on, on my part. All the people over there? people. We usually enjoy camping in places that have a lot of families, especially um, families that, you know, obviously have other children. East loves um, playing with other kids and making friends. We really love families that have pets. East loves dogs. It's always a really good icebreaker to get to know your neighbors when you have a little baby who's interested in their dog or their, their child. So it's, it's kind of, it's fun. One of the most important things that we um, bring with us when we're out camping is bringing the push toys. So East has a little horse that we take with us everywhere we go. It's on wheels. It's really good because he loves um, exploring his environment with the horse. That I think it's like a comfort. He knows the horse from home. He gets to take it with him out in nature. It's really fun to watch him. At the end of the night, we usually do our normal night routines. Brush your teeth, floss. What do you want to read? My mother is mine. Hip hop, let's talk Alaska. Well, and because we co-sleep, no matter where we are, he's sleeping with us, so it doesn't change. He's not having trouble going to bed, which is really nice. Also, we make sure to always have his favorite books with him, so 
he loves these little Alaskan books and we always read those before bed and, and it's just comforting because he he thinks he's home you know and it's like a piece of home Hi guys, thanks for watching our video and we hope you like it. If you want more content like this, let us know. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up.